My name is PK. Uh, I'm from South Korea, Seoul. I'm living in Japan for now, and I'm I'm playing the vocal a band called Prompt. Awesome! Very nice to have you here. Do you know where the name for the band Prompts came from? Uh, actually, actually, the Prompts is the I just joined the Prompts. Not for the start, start. Uh, I'm not the first member of the proms. Mm -hmm. uh, and our member Yuki, Master Yuki, he's a, he's a guitarist. Uh, he's uh, just one of the start member of the proms. Yep. Yeah, and he started proms at uh, 2020 or 13. And you joined yeah. in 2018. Yeah, I was joined the uh, 19, yeah. Oh, 2019, yeah. yeah. That leads me to my next question. How did you get started in the band? Uh, actually, you know, the the Korea is after pretty good the music scene, but it's all about of the just K-pop music or K-hip-hop music. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, we don't have any band scene, any, any local band scene in Korea. Yeah, not, so not heavy metal bands. Is, is there heavy metal bands in Korea or not really? Yeah, we got we got few heavy metal bands in Korea, but there's no no band to making money for the bands. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's really interesting because you know the Jap the Japan got a pretty good band scene in the their own country, so yeah. they can or they can make some money for that and. Also, they can. Oh, she's my wife. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. my goodness! Look at that dog. <gasps> oh my gosh! What's its name? Uh, it's a chikuabu. Chikuabu is like the name of the traditional Japanese food. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gorgeous! Oh my god! <laughs> Look. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Yes, stay there. Yeah, every day. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Yeah, so like so it's like it's like kind of the Japanese uh scene got some kinds of hero bands like Yeah. Same as you, like you guys have a pocket drive, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And like Japanese have like the maximum of the hormone or like the crossface cold rain. Or Crystal Lake. There's so many, uh, the, the, like some beautiful bands in their their own country, but yeah, we don't have it. <laughs> That's insane. So they don't get paid in Korea. Yeah, we just, we just do show like every each show to like it doesn't matter how the, it doesn't matter how of the shows like yeah Monday or like Tuesday or like. Saturday, Sunday, just only 10 or 20 audience. Oh, wow. <laughs> that must be different for you then as well. Did you did you start in the Korean music scene or did you start in the Japanese music scene? Uh, actually, I was start from the Korea. So like yeah. Korea in the uh, independent band scene. Like, wow. yeah, I will start like I was in the high school. So because yeah. I was so... I was I was so fond of like the metal core music or like just metal music like to start from the Pantera or Megadeth the classic one and you know yeah and a Parkway Drive or yeah yeah like a the corn yes yes yeah, so I, I I was so like I was like I I have a dream kind of the band dream. Mm -hmm. But there's no one making money, or there's no one to to touring, or there's no one like, there's no no one do the bat uh, like uh, promoting bat the band. Or really. yeah. Yeah, yeah. My God. That's yeah. Nice. So, so I I just 
I just decided to okay, I I I have to move to, move to some other country. I can't believe that. Did yeah. did you have many friends when you were in high high school that were into the same music as you, or was it just kind Never. of you? None. Never. Wow. Yeah. I was played the, you know, we kind of like some kind of the circle of like the group. Yeah. You know, in the band, in the in the school, high school, high school band, right? Yeah. So many other high school band is playing like a K-pop music for the band music, like or just like other, like they they just copy other pop music. Yeah. 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 We we just just three or four members in our circles, like yeah, just all metalhead. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So that's awesome. we we just played uh, the master puppet of Metallica. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. That's yeah. What we played. <laughs> yeah. All. <laughs> <laughs> No, the the uh, uh yeah yeah we was played the master pop at the Metallica uh like yeah a school school festival oh awesome yeah but all all students and all parents are gonna blame us because oh. it's so loud and so long they don't know what the <laughs> they, yeah um, <laughs> stop them <laughs> it's, 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 like, it's like kind of like the first time I feel okay I have to leave this country yeah but I was. But yeah yeah you did an awesome cover of pod's song boom you really yeah. put your own spin on it what made you choose that song yeah actually uh the i told you we, we have this from the starting member like he, he named his name is the matsuno ryuki yeah i'm gonna call him to ryuki for now uh ryuki is like just we got pretty we got pretty different age okay so he's uh, like, I'm a 28 now, so he's a 38 for now. So we got just different age for 10 years. Yeah. So yeah. we got a pretty, uh, like, bit of, like, generation gap. But we 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 love the old, uh, like, new metal music. Yeah. Yeah, so we just, okay, we, we, can, we can make some cover music, cover song now for now so we just discussed which song is the best song for us us for like the, he loved the 20 uh, like 2000s mm -hmm. the, the music uh, uh the new metal new metal music yeah yeah so he said like linkin park or the, like corn or like limb biscuit but you know the crystal like do the limb biscuit cover yeah so, do the Linkin Park cover. Also, we love that band, but it's like it's it's so major. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But what I love is that you guys yeah. did it in your style. You know, many bands if they do a cover, they'll try and do it exactly the same. But you yeah. guys made it your own. I, it, it's it's awesome. I love it. Yeah. So we just saying like, okay, uh, maybe we can do like some more like not too much major band. Yeah. Yeah. everyone do do cover the faint everyone do cover the rolling so exactly like yeah maybe maybe you can do something special so okay so how about the pod so okay we love the pod but you know that every <laughs> every japanese or asian people doesn't know about the pod is that okay for us but yeah <laughs> so they, they don't know it yeah of course they don't know it yeah <laughs> Uh, the last year we have the show with the Straight from the Past from the U.S. Mm -hmm. Show at the Shibuya. Mm -hmm. Some few Brazil fans come to Japan to join us to our show. So when we just start to play the POD and they was they going to crazy. I <laughs> loved it. I can imagine. <laughs> Do you have to warm up before you go on stage to sing or does it come naturally to you? uh actually i do warm up for now yeah you so do we, yeah, yeah the year ago, i i don't do warm up for, uh or like anything to before the stage yeah yeah but actually it's not to the the common like it's not usual thing to the the tour like the over the one or two weeks or three the months of tour in asia country because okay you guys country is really big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, 
did you did you did you see the how the South Korea is tiny? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, the Korea we we can't do the tour because there, there's no people. That's right. Yeah. There's no many people of the love the band music in 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 our country, and but of course the band. Of, of course, the Japan got a good band scene and they can do tour, but yeah. it's pretty, Japan is not too much big, so we can do tour like the Saturday and Sunday and oh, we go home. Yeah. We're going to start from the just gonna weekend, next weekend. Yeah. So, but uh, we was do, it's kind of the first time tour like overseas, like uh, of course, we, we, we're going to visit uh, we was visit uh, Hong Kong or like China, the Taiwan, but it's just kind of the couple of days tour. Okay. Yeah, you know, uh, we was visit the uh, this year January. Yeah. We was visit Australia with the gloom in the corner. Yeah, yeah, that was that was kind of like our first time the like over two weeks tour. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yes, it's kind. Cool. Yeah, because it's it kind of was like kind of the, the 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 dream moment because we always dream about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then you guys got signed with the Australian record label, the Grayscale Records. Yeah. Yeah. How did that happen? Okay. Uh. Uh. We gonna we was do tour like over two weeks, so like four days, four days tour and one days off, or like three days. Yeah. three days it was like so that's the kind of that's like uh our first time doing tour like just day after day and day after day tour so like okay we have to do like some kind of warm-up for our condition <laughs> yes so that's the reason why I, I have to start to like warm up before i go into stage yeah yeah, no, good idea because otherwise, yeah. you, I think your voice will get hurt. Yeah, uh, yeah, the, because we we have to just we have to clean singing, we have to shout, we have to screaming, and we have to move really like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you move a lot. You have so much energy, all of you. Do you all get exhausted or after a show? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because uh, you know the Ryuki is like thirty eight age for now, so he always like after stage like oh my neck, oh my back. <laughs> he's getting <laughs> old. Yeah, he's getting old, but but he he got still passion of the music, so like yeah, he he just enjoys for that. Yeah, actually, I really love to. When I was in high school, I was really loved to the make him suffer or like the author. Of, when they just started yeah 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 i told you because uh, there's no sin in korea there, there's no no metal sin in korea so like uh actually i was thinking about i have to move i got two choice i have to move japan yep or i have to, i i have choice to go into australia wow yeah because I those two. i do the australia sin yeah yeah, I always love the void of vision. Oh like, yeah. You know that you know the the make them suffer void of vision, like after all the polaris is like yes. it's a big band in for now in Australia, but seven or eight eight years ago they just started or or they they just joined to local scene. Hundred percent. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was saw the video like Void of Vision to play like kind of like the school gym. But oh. That was pretty awesome. That that was I, I was pretty shocked to that video. Yeah, no, I can imagine. Yeah. So the Australian, there's a few Australian bands there that really inspired you when you were growing yeah. up to become. Of, of course, yeah, of course, yeah. the pop or the, the, any other bands like. Yeah, but the Japan, I choose Japan because it's pretty close to the Korea. I can care my family. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, yeah, that makes yeah. sense because I think we're. We're quite far away from you <laughs> over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, uh, Paladesk joined to the Grayscale first. And uh, Paladesk is like my first friends, mm -hmm. friends in Japan. Yeah. yeah. 
actually oh, actually yeah. I, I, I was do the like some crystal lake vocal cover on twitter and uh, kaido the he's a vocal of the pale dusk he's mm -hmm. just the just the master send the message to me on twitter and he just like he can he can do he can't speak english for that day it's like it, it was seven years ago yeah so, yeah he was like okay I, I i believe you can you can use the translator your vocal is really awesome and i, I want to like share the vocal skill with you and i i need to some kind of the foreigner back foreigner friends yeah please come to fukuoka so okay I, I can go to fukuoka so and he he was like showing how to move to japanese scenes like yeah he was you, you can you can come with our our tour like the powder tour with the yeah. cold ring and i was riding on tour band with the powder member yeah and i just and i was like I, I want to i want to join the like the japanese band scene so how can i how can i do for that uh, so is, is any like kind of I have to take a visa, or you can you can help me, Kaido. But he, he always say yes, and he always give it to like kind of like uh, I forget the words, but like passion of the band. Oh, yep. Yeah, he always yeah. give to he always inspired me. So, and then I moved to Japan. We I started the prompts, mm -hmm. and he going to he going to really good job with the pal the pal desk, of course. Yes. Yeah. And. They was joined the Grace Guild a few years ago. Ah, okay. It's really nice that you've got a friend then in him. He must have, yeah, yeah been a big help for you going to Japan and getting into the scene and then, yeah, obviously getting into prompts as well. That's really yeah. lovely. Yeah, and then and then I, I was I was so, like, I was so happy to join Powdesk mm. to Grace. But I, I kind of, like, my... my I, I feel like kind of jealous because I really love to do grayscale bands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Peldus, uh, they have the tour with the Arthur last year. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with the like kind of big tour, like they they was invite the invite the sim or like the cold rain and cross face and that their, their, their tours. Yeah. Yeah. That's and then and then the Arthur to. I got a sideshow. Yep. It's kind of the tiny venue. So, and also want to, also like want to play with the prompts at that, the, the sideshow. Okay. So we was do the, that, we was do the couple of show for the sideshow with Alpha. Yep. Uh, we was, we was, uh, we was to be a friend that we tour and the Alpha, the Alpha members like Loki and other members like say, say, you guys are awesome. And do you guys have any other like label for now? So yeah, oh, we don't have it. And then okay, Alpha says, okay, okay, that okay, we we have to talk with the Grayscale. Yeah. And then you you guys know, uh, do you know about the uh, Annalyn from the Talent? Are uh, they also joined the Grayscale for now? Annalyn is also friend to us like yes. before uh, six years ago. Yes, yes. He was joined the Grayscale. Before we joined five and six months, six months. Yes. And the uh, the vocalist of his name is Bone. His name is Bone. Yeah. The Bone, like you guys, I know you guys searching for the label, and you guys, uh, 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 I know you guys search for the labels and the Grayscale records is pretty. They got pretty interest interest about of you guys. Yeah. Yeah, and. This story is after to the Annalyn got a tour with they got a Austrian tour like with with Void of Vision. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. how it happened, and then it's history. Yeah. They asked you. Yeah, yes. So after that tour, and after the Annalyn, and after the Awful, and it it can happen. So the Grayscale sent to, sent a mail to us. So we just. We just send send him back just just three seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome! That's so yeah. cool. Everything is so smooth, and everything is like for everything is like I'm really, 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 really thanks to my friends like Paladis or like Annalyn and Arthur 
Yeah. Do you have any guilty pleasure music or music you like to listen to that might be unexpected given the music you make? Like Britney Spears or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, uh, I, I have a big guilty pleasure, like, because I'm from Korea, so... I, I watch this kind of the social media for the from Korea. Yeah. So, so uh, I told you we got pretty good music scene, but it's all kind of the K-pop music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's kind of guilty. My guilty pleasure is like I listen to K-pop music for now. Yeah. No way. Do you like yeah. BTS? Uh, actually, the five five or four years ago, I was hate the K-pop music because yeah, you know like. Oh, the the K-pop music is just take over the whole the the, the Korean music scene. There's no yes. like, so so the band scene is going to it sucks in yeah. Korean. So it's all for the K-pop music. I hate K-pop music. It's like kind of the the common the old like metalhead thinking. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you know, the BTS gonna get famous and the Blackpink gets famous. You know the K-pop. Actually, the K-pop music taking over the world. Yes, it is. hundred yeah. percent. So, okay, maybe I, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was watch it and any other like social media. I and I was listened to really carefully and the K-pop music. Yeah. A couple of years ago, so actually they got they have too many really good producer. And they have to, they actually, they make the really good music right now. They have to do a lot because, of work. Yeah, because they, they got trained over the five or six years because, before they debut. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they can dancing and they can singing. They looking good. Like, how, how, how can, how, how can, how can we respect for them? <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Oh, I know. I saw a doc documentary recently and the amount of work they did and yeah, it, to it, the point of passing out and falling yeah. down and stuff it's a lot yeah, it, it's much it's much hard hard work like yeah. than the band music because it's and it's it's not kind of like I, i'm not going to blame the band music but it's the they we got the same yeah we got the same the uh, passion of the music so yeah okay. Exactly. Maybe I have to respect for them for now, but it's yeah. hard to hard to speak. Like I'm I'm listening to K pop music for now, but because all my metal has music. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I I know I know you came from came from like Korea, but your metal hat you, you you don't you don't have to listen to K pop music. Like, but actually, it's it's pretty good for now. Like some of the stuff is okay. So, uh, like, we was released, uh, it's called uh, Ad Runner, and we was released, released like, Sun Eater for uh, this this year. We're we, we ha we gonna, uh, we was released with a couple of singles. Yeah. And for, for the Ad Runner, I was write, I was start writing the, like, the Korean lyrics on that music, on that songs, yeah. yeah. Because for now, I'm pretty proud I'm from Korea. Because there's no Korea peoples in the game for now, in the in the whole whole the like the metal scene. Yeah. So I was told you because, because the uh, the Korea doesn't doesn't have any the the metal hardcore hero for now. Hundred percent. So, so, yeah, one hundred percent. So okay, I maybe I can be that the first one <laughs> yeah you should be proud I was going to yeah. say that as well it's very rare to see Korean metal bands at all so I think it's really awesome if you're representing Korea you know yeah yeah so yeah. I have so I think I think I have to represent Korea because I because you know my our bassist and me from Korea so half yeah. of the members is from Korea so yeah we, we live in Japan but uh, someday we want to going back to Korea. Yeah, we're gonna try to getting better, getting more good. We can we can do something for like the Korean metal scenes. Like yeah, in saying that, do you have a lot of fans in Korea or not that you know of? No, no. For now. But uh, for these days, like uh, some few metal kids like 
odious band called Proms in Japan, but the member, the, the singer and the bassist is from Korea. That's it. And they joined the Grayscale Records and they do the they do the show with a lot of the uh the uh the major music bands right now. So so uh we got I told you we got the tiny scene in Korea. So in that scene like already like some kind of hero for now <laughs> yeah yeah exactly you're like the only ones and yeah yeah, yeah because there's there's no no one do like there's no one to reach reach these level yeah. in Korea in whole history far right out now. yeah that's yeah. crazy i would never have known that love the new singles edge runner and i like sun sun eater as well how are they I, different or similar to the songs from magenta smile uh actually the magenta smile is like the first ep like i was joined to prompts mm -hmm. actually it's not it, it's not just i was it's not just for me like except the real key and the piggery from bassist and the drum for heaven and uh the guitar from Yasi. we all like we are all the new members yeah so uh before we making the motion to smell we we just discussed like okay we have to try like something new in japan yeah because in that day is there's no one try to play the new metal style music in japan for the, like a more, more than new metal style yeah in japan or any 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 asia country so okay we can we can be we can be a, like pioneer of the that kind of genre so so it's kind of like the roots of our music it's kind of much and the smell is like like pretty experience experience and the roots of our music so it's not going to be the change. It's not going to be too much change um, yep. for, until these days. Yeah. So maybe we got a pretty similar mood of the from start from the Majin and Small and the end of the Atchurona for now. Yeah. yeah, no, that makes sense. I love what direction Magenta Smile went in. So if you continue with that, yeah, it would be good. Is there anything you'd like to say to your Australian fans? Uh, we're going to visit... Next, Next yeah. yeah, we're gonna be Australia first time uh, in this in this January, yeah, and that was that was really awesome. That was like so fantastic time to us. So we we really happy to join again like Austria tour. Yeah. So uh, I I don't I don't expect uh how many fans we got. Uh, the there's a lot. Yeah, the last tour, but. I, I can I can feel you guys the energy. I can feel the like energy uh, Australian Australian energy I was dream about when I was the eighteen or seventeen years ago. So it's still kind of the dream moment for now. Still. Yeah. 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 So just enjoyed our show and we promise we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna visit Australia again, again and again and yes. we're gonna we're gonna we we go we're gonna I promise we're gonna go into the big band. <laughs> oh, you will, you will. And we'd love to see more of you. You really do have a good following here and you can see it in the crowd when you played last time in January. Everyone was right into it and Yeah, right. Yeah. We hope to see more music from you guys as well soon. So very exciting. Yeah, we we're really excited for this tour because we we have the really bad cold <laughs> ah. for the last tour yeah. but but we still enjoy this so Good. we are really preparing for this tour for now yeah so yeah. don't get sick yeah. <laughs> yeah we yeah don't get we don't get sick and we was we was like uh oh, we want to like more insane energy for now for this tour for to yeah. us you guys yeah yeah <laughs> Oh, yes, we, we we're gonna preparing so many things for this tour. So just enjoy it. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Well, you can catch prompts touring Australia with on the eleventh of October. Thank you so much, PK. It was awesome to get to talk to you. Thank you very much. <laughs>